Okay, this is the Interface BTS AM1 module, and today we're going to learn how to set up and configure the BTS AM1 module. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need a few things. Um, we have a, a small flathead screwdriver, two AA batteries, and uh, of course a, a load cell. So, in order to get started, we'll need to take off the cover, and normally you would unscrew these. But for the sake of uh, speed, we already have them unscrewed. And you look inside, you'll see here this is the battery compartment. And over here, there's a screw terminal where we are going to attach our load cell. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to take off the gland and nut. And we have our, uh, our four wires from the load cell. So we have our negative uh, excitation, our negative signal, our positive signal, and our positive excitation. So these four wires are going to go through the gland nut and then into the BTS AM1 module. You'll see them pop through here. You don't have to tighten this all the way yet. Right. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, put our four wires into the screw down terminal. Okay, so as you see here, we've uh, put our black uh, negative excitation wire into terminal two. We have our white negative signal wire in terminal three. We have our green positive signal wire in terminal 4, and we have our red positive excitation wire in terminal 5. Okay, once you've finished screwing down the terminals, um, you want to then tighten the gland nut to hold the boat cell in place. There. Uh, the next thing to do is install the two AA batteries, which will do like so. And once you have the batteries installed, you'll see that the red LED here and here are flashing, indicating that the BTS transmitter is transmitting. And after that, you want to replace the enclosure lid and go ahead and seal it. Okay, so now that, now that we have our BTS transmitter set up, um, we're going to use the BTS toolkit to configure the transmitter. Uh, the BTS toolkit is available on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store for download. So once you've downloaded the application, um, you can go ahead and uh, start it. Uh, the first thing you'll see is the splash screen. And once the splash screen is loaded, you'll see the project screen. So with the project screen, you can uh, select any projects that have already been created, or you can create new projects. Uh, but we're going to go to the menu and select configure transmitters so we can configure the BTS module that we set up previously. Uh, once you've selected uh, configure transmitters you'll see any available transmitters um, that are within range and we'll tap on the um, transmitter that we wish to configure. Uh, the configuration pin can be set to protect the configuration settings, but we're just going to leave it at the default four zeros. Now we're connecting to the device. Uh, the first thing you'll see is identification, which includes the model, version, data tag, um, a configuration pin, and view pin. Uh, the, you'll find the data tag is important. In this case, we, we have a data tag DB15. And next we'll move on to the calibration menu. And at the calibration menu, we are going to do a table calibration. 
so we'll select table and then we're going to enter our low value and our uh, low input which in this case will be zero in, in, in either parameter uh, then we'll set our high value and um, in this instance we have a capacity of 300 pounds so we'll put 300 in for our high value and uh, then we'll enter the rated capacity of the load cell which is 2.07481 okay then we're going to tap calibrate and you'll see the calibrating uh, loading calibration settings okay once it's calibrated then we will tap save and here you can view the measurement and We'll tap zero now to zero the zero the system. Now, now that we configured our transmitter, we need to link that transmitter to a project. But in order to do that, we need to create a project. So we'll tap the add project icon the upper right hand corner of the screen and then we'll see the new project menu the first thing we need to do is give the project a name so I think for this project we're going to call it brake pedal so we'll put that in After we've created the project name, we need to select an icon to represent the project in the project menu. We'll pick the truck, and uh, at the bottom you can see under link transmitters that there are zero link transmitters associated with this project. So we need to link our transmitter. So we tap on link transmitters, it'll bring us to this page, which confirms again that we have no transmitters linked to this project. So we'll hit the the plus button at the upper right hand corner and now we'll enter the data tag of the transmitter that we configured previously and that was DB15 and then we have to give this transmitter a description which will be used later so we're going to call this transmitter break01 And we'll hit save. It'll take us back to the linked transmitters list, and we can see that our DB15 break01 transmitter is now linked to this project. We'll go back to new projects, and you can see that the there is one linked transmitter. Then we'll tap save. That'll take us back to the project screen, and you'll see that we have the project recreated. Uh, with one link transmitter associated. All right, now that we've created our project and linked our transmitter, we need to go into our project and create some project tiles. So what we'll do is uh, tap on the brake pedal project that we created. And you'll see here it says, no tiles found, please add one. Uh, so what we're gonna do is hit the plus, uh, the menu, and hit add tile. And we'll see a list here of the available uh, tile types. So we have metric, gauge, tank, indicator, and chart tile. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a chart tile for our example. So go ahead and tap chart tile. And that brings us to the chart tile menu. So first thing we need to do is give this chart tile a name.
All right, the next thing we need to do is create the expression. So we just want the information from the load cell through the transmitter. Um, we don't need to create any um, complicated equations or anything. We just want to see the output from the transmitter. So we're going to tap transmitter and then select our transmitter break 01. Okay, our source units are in pounds, our working units are in pounds. So the next thing we need to do is create a y-axis min and max. And so that's the lower and upper level we're going to see on our chart. So our y-axis min is going to be 0, and our y-axis max for this one is going to be 100. So now we'll select a color for our chart, and I'm going to pick white because it's a good contrast with the black background. And now that we have all that done, we'll hit save. And we're back in our project, and we can see our chart tile here. Um, the bottom and the mid you can see it's zero and at the top you can see it's 100 pounds and as I push on the load cell you can see that the the peaks and valleys are being created so you can go through the same process to uh, make metric tiles and tank tiles and gauge tiles and you go through the same sort of menus to set the parameters um, and you can you can add those to your project as well uh, likewise if you need to if you want to use multiple transmitters you can add them and link them the same way as we've done previously and create projects that are useful for uh, whatever you're whatever you're doing